But first at six, the community is now mourning the loss of a dedicated law enforcement officer. Good evening to you. I'm Kenan Oliphant. This time, H1N1 is being blamed in the death of a sheriff's captain from Preble County. So Nuwasu is live in the newsroom with our top story at six. Cannon Captain Thornsbury fell ill on October 20th and lost a 13-day fight with the virus last night. Now we're told Thornsbury was initially diagnosed with double pneumonia, that's viral and bacterial, as well as the H1N1 virus. Flags are lowered to half staff outside the Preble County Sheriff's Office in honor and memory of a brother and 15 year veteran of the department, a captain who worked his way up through the ranks. Great officer, uh, and, and he's going to be missed by you know not only uh, his family here at the office, but uh, his family as well and, and, and the public. We're told the strapping six foot eight inch captain was a healthy man with no history of health problems. Flu tests taken at the hospital came back negative in this case, but health officials say most tests that come back negative do indeed turn out to be the H1N1 virus. That's why instead of testing, they would rather treat every case like the swine flu. You just don't know who it's going to strike and where it's going to strike. And, uh, and it's one of the things I think you just you don't take anything for granted. Thornsbury was rushed into intensive care on Thursday where he was hooked up to a respirator and placed into a drug-induced coma. You'll never get over a loss like this. I mean, you'll learn to deal with the loss, but you'll never get over, uh, go over, get over a loss of a co-worker. The Ohio Department of Health is now reporting 22 H1N1 deaths to date. Funeral arrangements for Captain Thornsbury are pending. The family is meeting with the funeral home tomorrow, and we'll get that information to you as soon as we find out. Reporting live, Sonu Vasu, 2 News on your side. All right, Sonu, thank you.